Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about not one individual item like, hey, you know what, show me how to install some cranks. Hey, show me how to put on some tires. Hey, show me. We're going to put together a complete bike. Not like what you just saw Max did, but we're going to put together a bike that just came out of the box. Why? Because we just got a huge shipment of the 2021. Some of you guys probably mail order and you guys go, don't know what to do. I'm going to show you what to do. First of all, most of the bike comes with a 17. Then, a, they have a number six for the stem and a number five for the C-clamp. You also need a number 15 for the pedal. And most importantly, this. Get out of the video, you've already been in too many today. <laughs> So as you guys can see, we just got a huge shipment of bikes. Which one should I build up? No, let's not build this. How about, no. What should we build? How about this? Tyra XL, should we? Mm, 14. I like this, we need this. Sabrosa Tyro XL. Why? Because we don't have one and because it's probably one of our best seller. So let's go outside because in here, it is hot as hell. I'll let the slave child and all the labor worker work in here. We'll go outside. Let's get going. Remember, most important tools. This is the way I would, I would pull it. You know what? You don't want to pull this open because you know what? You're going to leave all these staples sticking out and it's going to cut you. This is the way we do it here. Cut right into Alf's leg. What's up, Forrest? So, see, this is the way we do it at the shop, okay? Whip all the seats. Look at this huge box. You guys might, might want to know, what is in this? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Nothing to do with you. Guys, look at this whole box. Look at this whole box. Hey, box. You got chain guard. Got owner's manual, reflectors. That's it. That's it. You guys want to know why they put this like this? For safety. For safety. You know what? So the box, the bike doesn't move around. So, uh, what are you selling? Bicycle. Try to do a video about putting a complete bike together. Oh yeah. We're trying. I'll, to... I'll whip one out no, right now. No, no, Come no. On. I want my shine time, man. My shine time. Okay. I know, I know. I'll read what? the instructions. Where, where, do you, where did you get that? From behind That's the counter. That's such a bad shirt. Thanks. That's true. <laughs> so then what I do, shove this back in. Trusty wire cutter. Keep in mind, guys, this is what we do here. Okay, this is how I build bikes here. Give you an idea. So see, got all this going on. Got all this all this put this aside and watch what i do dykes lift the bike up front wheel believe it or not guys what takes me the longest to build a bike out of a box is unwrapping this wrapping, wrapping this Get this thing off. Oh. On here. Be sure. Wheels on right. See this little hook? This little safety hook? It needs to go right into this hole right here. Safety hook goes right into the hole. Remember guys, one of the most the most important advice I could give you is Take your time, one step at a time. Remember the 17? Snug. Snug. Ah, there. Now you got front wheel on. Bring the bike back over here. Unwrap that. 
Cut the handlebar. Get this out. More wrappings. Oh, these people are such a waste of money. Undo the plastic. See, a lot of you guys think, hey, you know what? If I buy a bike online, it's gonna come to me complete and ready. No, it's gonna come like this. It's almost complete ready. It's really not that hard to build up, but you gotta learn to appreciate your local shop a little bit better because we build it up for you and we tune it up. For some of you guys that live somewhere where you guys don't have a local shop like this, then that's fine. Watch this carefully, study it, and then you can build it up right. Back to this. So, handlebars done. Undo this. Gotta undo this. Back to my little tool rack. Number six. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, discount. Didn't see that. Keep in mind, guys. I'm a professional, sort of. This, because I've learned to use it for so long, you guys probably don't want to use this because you guys are going to start going crazy and, and then next thing you know, you're going to strip, okay? <laughs> Make sure the handlebar, look at this, look at this. You can't do this. All on one side. Some people prefer it on the other side, you know? <laughs> ah, COVID, COVID. It's like jujitsu, dude. See, holding with my armpit. Just kind of get it in here a little bit. Hold it in here. This. Okay. You guys see the knurling? What you guys have to do is you guys have to center it. See, it's sticking out a little bit here, a little bit there. That means it's centered. Easy. up now remember this is not snug keep that in mind okay go back to my seat we like to do the seat clamp one fist come on no 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 dirty jokes ah oh where is it one fist at a time back to one fist at a time no dirty joke guys you get out of the gutter gonna go you say what, one fist kind of industry standard? I don't know what industry, but it is an industry standard. So now look at it, it's starting to look like a bike. The reason why I like to keep the bike in the box is because all this comes off, this comes off, this comes off. Ah, you guys, you Greenpeace guys, all you tree huggers. Go and call the, the bicycle industry and go, what is up with you guys? Look at all this waste. And look at that. It's almost a complete bike. Missing a pedal. Look guys, no waste. No paper, no nothing. Everything is inside the box. So if you go, hey, you know what? I'm missing something. It's probably in the box. But when you start pulling everything out, it gets lost. Pedal. One key thing with the pedal, guys. Here's a little here's a little tip of the day. Which pedal goes on which side? Could anybody see the difference in these two pedals? The concavity. No. The angle of the pedal. No. Notice how this part right here, this is smooth. And this has those little lines. The one with the little line always goes on the left side. The smooth one always goes on the right. That's how the manufacturer can tell which spindle is what, and you guys can tell. So when you look at it, right when you come out, look for the one with the line, it goes on the left. It'll also say an L. Ah, I bet you a lot of people are going, oh my God, the guy's a genius. Nope, I gotta stay humble. I gotta stay humble, guys. Don't wanna sound like an arrogant prick, gotta stay humble, right? Screwed on by hand first. Never screw it on with a power tool because you don't know you're gonna cross-thread it. It's 
screwed on by hand, forward. Always going forward. Screw forward. After I screw it in like this, now I'm gonna go turbo. Woo. I have my power tool set, so it's the right torque. And look, the bike is done. No, not yet. So what, I, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finalize everything. Always double check, cause this is safety. Check the pedal. Remember, forward, tight. Got all my tools in my butt. Pause. We're at the 17 again. Go on here. Give it a get of a quick nudge. Oh, look at that, that was loose. And then guess what guys? Tighten the handlebar. Make sure it's straight. Sit back, make sure this is leveled. Tighten the clamp. The manufacturer, usually they'll torque this thing down pretty accurate. Every once in a while, I'll give it a little nudge and it's pretty good. I usually don't mess with the crank because again, the manufacturer, they have the, the crank all, all torqued down. So you really don't have to mess with that. Tighten this. You don't have to vice it down. Let's give it a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit angle. I tend to do mine semi-dan crux. I just feel like that is the, the style that's standard right now. Remember, star action here, never here, never here, go here and crisscross. And you go over here, over here. Okay, and then one more round. Let's give it a little snug. Snug, not too hard. And then one more little thing. Look at this brake lever. And again, this is how I set it up for my retail. This is not preference. Up. And that's it, guys. Is that fast? Pretty easy? There you have it. Building a complete bike out of the box. Watch it over. Remember. Take your time, step by step. Don't jump around and double check everything because it's your ass on the bike.